द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ वट आर द रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंटल अचीवमेंट इन अप्लाइड बायोटेक्नोलॉजी हाउ विल दीज अचीवमेंट हेल्प हेल्प टू अपलिफ्ट द पोर सेक्शन ऑफ द सोसाइटी टू फिफ्टी वर्ड फिफ्टीन मार्क्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन गोज वेरी स्पेसिफिक वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिक सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन ऑल दो इट इज अ वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉर्ड वन but it is very specific that means you can't write general things you have to write good examples correct so when you face such a question where things are very specific you will be facing a little bit of difficulty because of the examples because you have to differentiate your content everybody most of the hard working people they have almost similar content because they follow similar sources but you have to put in your own effort to differentiate your content next the blueprint let's say we start with the definition because the research and development achievements are asked okay so start with the definition and relevance and not just a definition i have explained this before elaborate on the research under different headings we'll group the achievements in different headings all right and of course they have been very specific and asked about poorer sections of the society so whatever development you are sharing you need to relate them to the benefit of poorer sections right so we'll have two sections in the body okay so applied biotech what is it right what is the meaning of it it means that living organisms are used to provide solutions for various issues like agriculture in healthcare in environment we'll see all the sections right so they are again i have connected this with the question itself innovations are necessary to uplift the poorer section So that is the point. This is how you can write and compact and effective introduction. So what is in the what are the achievements in the applied biotech? So first is that in agriculture it can enhance productivity and resilience. Productivity means of course you get more output on the same input, and resilience means here. climate resilience right so genetically modified crops can be used in improving the climate resilience productivity can also be improved in the same way we have seen the example of bt cotton before now here i would like to point out one thing you will see that a little bit of content is repeated in the questions that is because the topic the theme itself has repeated right although yes i have included lot of different examples very few things you will find similar but then again i had more time than a and then than an average aspirant right so the point is you will you will face this that you will be duplicating your content while you are writing previous year questions but but this is just one year question that means this biotechnology question came in 2021 correct 2021 let me just confirm correct so all this content you can use and you can write basically what happens is you will have lot of content if you go through go through these pyqs only which i have created for you and for biotechnology you will have enough content of course do your own research add on to things of course because i am not god <laughs> i'll miss some things right let's be frank about that so the point is do your own research have this content i think you will be bulletproof in these question in biotechnology question next gm mustard this is approved for environmental in the terms of environmental protection but commercially it is not yet approved so this is also there which can use which can be used to increase the productivity icar indian council for agriculture research they have developed new drug resistant crops that is blight resistance rice and blight resistance potatoes so this is the these are the examples right i am not describing anything because the question is saying directly tell me the applications directly tell me the achievements right so we'll get directly to that we are not going to bounce around the definition the advantages and all that okay next is healthcare it will create affordable diagnosis and therapy let's see how so recombinant insulin recombinant is a biotechnology process insulin is created by which it is made accessible that means people are able to get it especially the poorer section there has been 
lot of development in vaccines we have even exported vaccines from india so because of biotechnology in india we have developed the first dna based first dna based world's first dna based zycov d vaccination for covid icmr has developed a rapid diagnostic kit for tuberculosis which is called trunat now this is also the result of biotechnology so it is an affordable easy to use kit now one of the most important benefits of this kit is why why i have written this example because it is a very simple kit it does not require a lot of resources and this is especially true for let's say if you are in a remote village how will you test the tb right so this kit can be reused where there is resource crunch so that is why i have used this example next section we come to uh, sorry next point in this section we come to is environmental sustainability now lot of issues in environment they are faced by poorer people especially right rich people can buy air filters for their room but what about poor people and keeping this in mind the government also had the idea of replacing the gas stove with lpg again that's a different case i'm just trying to relate things so that you understand how things work so in an environmental sustainability you can have bio remediation of the pollution there is pollution in water in land sorry in the sand in the air so bio based biologic or let's say biological products based remediation can be used to directly clean these areas okay so this will remove pollution and improve health outcomes for example there are actual microbes that are used in today's world to help in oil spills even in india they have been developed bio digesters are used right to break down manure and that is converting energy into uh, sorry uh, organic matter into energy this is already done like biogas for nutritional research lot of bio fortified crops are being developed like golden rice which has vitamin a also there is a wheat uh, bio fortified wheat variety called atlas 66 now many people don't write this example many people write golden rice so this is how you can differentiate your content from the content we have bought for you right so all these crops they help in the nutritional research of these crops help in addressing malnutrition which is a big problem for india industrial biotechnology okay biotechnology can be used to use agriculture waste right and generate additional income aquaculture because of biotechnology gm carp c a r p gm carp a fish has been developed which is bigger in size and has drug resistance disease resistance sorry okay so all these examples are direct examples we have not explained any process we have not talked about any theory right we have just given the examples next question was asking impact on poorer sections of the society so how do we handle this of course you don't tell most of the examples that we have told above we are just going to write the implications of it so increased agriculture productivity will lead to what that will provide more yield and that will increase the income of course and one important point is food security it will improve the healthcare outcomes of the people because people will be able to get more medicines because of biotechnology like insulin i talked about like tb kit i talked about all these things will lead to what improved outcomes for the poorer sections right so basically basically biotechnology is bringing world class treatment to the doorsteps of poor people now environment is a public good it is there for everyone it is not a special uh, basically service for some special people so processes like bioremediation using biological things right i have talked about this biogas right they have increased sustainability of the environment what else economic environment is there through gm crops how gm crops and other hyv crops bio pesticide bio herbicide by because they are not costly so they will reduce the input cost and hence they will help in alleviation of poverty biotech is also used in food processing industry and because of which we have a benefit of stable prices okay so we have to talk about applied biotech in the conclusion 
not don't write just biotech write applied biotech applied biotech is transforming many sectors in india okay now these will decrease poverty as they focus on affordability availability and sustainability there is another word which you can write affordability availability accessibility but again i have chosen to write sustainability so this is how you can go about this answer right so that is all for this one we will move to the next one